You want simple countertops in this video? We're gonna show you two samples of a simple countertop that takes you five minutes or less for the decorative part. We're gonna show you how to do marble spray and granite spray. Is your jam marble or would you rather have granite? We're gonna show you both. It's a one-two punch. I'm feeling frisky, let's go. Have you seen the video how we make our sample boards? How we do a drop edge with a rock face? How we bring in that grinder to give it these realistic looking details? If you haven't seen that, check it out because that's the same way you can build brand new countertops. You can also do this same stone coat epoxy process over your old existing surfaces like countertops, tabletops, desktops, shower walls, floors and more. Visit our website anytime for all the products used in this video. These are easy techniques. If you guys do home shows, this would be a really valuable display because people walking by your booth, it would trick the eye. You know, you got two stones married together. So I'd like to do like an angle, something like this. Okay, so I'll do an angle and it'll show half marble spray, half granite. It'll be a really cool display. So let's get started. I like that right there. Okay, so I got white marble spray and silver marble spray going over a black undercoat. That's our epoxy undercoat. Test that spray first. I'm gonna do the edges first, guys. Now I'm just gonna do the field. That's it right there. Let me do uh, one more here. Nice. That's it for that side. The marble spray dries really quickly. So my spray fan will be able to be laid right on top of that marble spray almost instantly. As opposed to the granite sprays, they take a while to set up. So I'll do that second so that I can mask off this section and then spray the granite. That's a pro tip. Do you like these pro tips? Let me know in the comments below. What's been your favorite Stone Cold countertop pro tip of all time? Okay guys, when spraying these marble sprays, you got a little safety donut right there, that little cap. You gotta pull that off and pull that donut off and then it'll spray. All right, here we go. Nice. That looks cool, a couple, couple of shades on there. Okay, what two colors am I using on stone spray? I'm gonna use our gray stone and our stone sienna. I love these things. Okay, test spray your sprays first, do your edges first, and start a little further back. This does overspray pretty substantially, so just be sure to mask the area that you don't want sprayed. Okay, now it's time for the gray stone. Nice. That's gonna look like granite. That's sick, man. I like the, uh, the different effects on the same board, man. That is, that's killer. Okay, I'm gonna let this dry and then we'll be ready for the next step. And the next step is simple. It's just clear stone coat epoxy. It's heat resistant, scratch resistant, UV resistant, food safe. It's DIY friendly because it's a one to one ratio. There's no noxious smell. There's zero VOCs. That means there's no solvents escaping. It's an amazing product designed for kitchen and bathroom use and abuse. We are all dry. We are ready for the clear coat on this. It's been a couple of hours and that's nice and dry. Sanded with 220 grit. 
We'll wipe the dust. We'll mix the clear coat of Stone Coat Epoxy at a one to one ratio for about two minutes using a drill. I'll trowel that with our 1 8 by 1 8 square notch trowel. It's designed to have three ounces per square foot. I know I'm throwing a lot of information at you, but did you know right there at StoneCoatCountertops.com, we have a training portal. It's an actual epoxy academy. It's gonna teach you all of these things at your pace. Plus, you could rewind this video and take some notes, but we've already done that for you as well. We have PDFs that are downloadable for epoxy basics. This is a basic recipe. It's super simple, no stress involved. It's designed for the do-it-yourselfer to get things done. Pro tip, in the winter time, warm that epoxy up, get it nice and warm, and then do that one-to-one -one ratio. It'll mix much easier for you. Mm. Pull that off, pull any loose bristles out, and then you're ready to pour. Ooh. What I like about doing this kind of a recipe is all of your color is in that undercoat. And so if you're new to epoxy, you could actually come back and adjust it. You can, you could add more, you could repaint and just start over. The spray cans will do so much square footage that you don't have to be in a hurry. You don't have to worry. You can just get that underpainting just how you like it. But again, if you practice on a little piece of paper or cardboard first to get your spray technique down, remember a little goes a long way and start with those edges you're gonna get it to look like this I mean this this would take a faux finisher hours upon hours to do this marbling here and we did it in seconds you know so uh, I'm just looking at the value of this technique and man you could really upgrade an old kitchen so quickly uh, with with just a little can of spray look at this edge I mean I don't think you can get a more perfect edge with that rock face my brother made these and wow, like it just, they're perfect. Perfect. Okay, you can see the bubbles there. Let's torch them out. Look at the edge, bro, right here. That looks really good. It does. It looks good on this marble spray. Too. Yeah. Yeah, the in and out really makes a good difference. Yeah, I like seeing it. It's not too much. Uh huh. They just spray right out of the can. That's the cool part. Yeah. You don't have to have any skills. Creating marble and granite countertops is as simple as spraying it right out of a can. Let us know what you think of this video in the comments below. And from all of us here at Stone Coat Countertops, you got this. And we'll see you on the next video.